guys, it's Bro Uwak, and welcome to season 12, what is gonna be a highly loved season, not only because it has our most adorable hero up to date, Juno, uh, but also a season 12 battle pass that has a theme of Egyptian mythology, kind of. I guess we can start with tier one, which has probably one of the best skins in this battle pass, but it has nothing to do with the Egyptian mythology. It's Ana's Oni skin, which again, this is inspired by like a Japanese devil. I mean, it looks fantastic. Like, I love Ana's mask. I mean, Ana is always versatile when it comes to her type of skins, and I absolutely love her outfit with the reds, the blues on her wrist, and even her gun looks fantastic. I can't wait to see what that looks like when that's gold. And in tier one, we also have an Ani Oni player icon, and I don't think we get a spray, at least not in the media kit that I got. <laughs> Moving on with the rest of the battle pass in tier two, we have a sneak peek of this season's mythic skin with a Reaper Anubis player icon. We also have a Venture voice line. Hi I'd gladly share a tomb with you. Which is gonna be the only content that you really get in this season, because they're not getting any skins to season 14! Ah! Well, it's all made up because of this adorable Doofus Highland intro where he's seen holding a cute Egyptian kitty cat. Doofus does have a soft side. And like every other battle pass, we're gonna have 250 credits and every tier that ends in five that you can use to buy Overwatch 1 skins in the hero gallery, but not Overwatch 2 shop skins. At tier six, we got an Anubis Reaper player card. Card, and then at tier 7, we got the Ramatra Power Stance Victory Pose. At tier 8, similar to the credits and every tier that ends in 8, you're gonna get 10 Mythic Prisms that you can use to buy either this season's Anubis Reaper skin or any other Mythic skin besides season 11 and 10 or a Mythic Weapon skins because that, that that's the thing. <laughs> at tier 9, we got Ana's Oni Spray that typically is reserved for the first tier, but now they moved it to tier 9 and then ending out the first 10 tiers, we got 200 Overwatch 2 coins that everybody gets whether you buy the battle pass or not. Kicking things off for the next set of 10 tiers at tier 11 we got a live look at Blizzard over the years because they have been pulling in a lot of money but uh, continue to scam us the community when it comes to skins. I'll be sure to watch my season 12 shop skin video because you're gonna know exactly what I mean by that. At tier 12 we got a Sphinx souvenir which I would have loved to see Arissa get this skin but the Pashimari is getting it. At tier 13 we got an Ana Oni player card which looks absolutely phenomenal. At tier 14, we got the Pacha Mummy Weapon Charm. I always love to see the Weapon Charm Pachamaris, and this time he's a cute little mummy. We get another 250 Overwatch 2, or Overwatch 1 credits. At tier 16, we get the Anubis Player card, which uh, doesn't at all look like Reaper. I guess it does, uh, kind of, with one of his color schemes. But then we get a Junker Queen voice line. What's a god to a queen? Oh, that's a fire voice line! Gotta equip that voice line when you use Zeus. You just got to. And then at tier 18, we get another 10 Mythic Prisms. And just a reminder, a Mythic Skin is just the base level one set. is 50 Mythic Prisms in total. At tier 19, we got the Moon uh, Iliari player card, or player icon, rather. And then to go at tier 20, we got the Iliari skin itself. This is one of the coolest skins of all time. Iliari is a slept-on character when it comes to skins, mainly just because she doesn't have a lot. Uh, but I absolutely love the Egyptian night sky design with her cape and the skin itself with the rest of the clothes is cool too. I love her hair. I love her headpiece. Just everything about the skin is beautiful. It's a work of art. Her gun as well where the sun and the moon at both ends of the gun. Oh, it's a good skin, man. This is a good legendary skin. Now at tier 21, we got a Kuriko victory pose because we cannot be starved of Kuriko content even just for one <laughs> season. And then at tier 22, we got a Ramacha voice line. Gods are mere tools, built to foster fear and wielded by the wicked. What? Hold on a second. Was it your mentor a god of some sort? I don't know, but at tier 23, we got a mummy bat tea spray, which looks really, really sick at tier 24. We got a Dorothy Ash player icon, which is probably going to be my favorite skin out of this whole entire battle pass. I may have said that for Ana. At tier 25, we get another 250 Overwatch credits. Tier 26, we get the Anubis, or should I say afterlife hero spray. Tier 27, we get the Dorothy and Tan Man player card. And then at tier 28, we get another there are 10 mythic prisms. Tier 29, we get a snake Zarya type of spray. This is inspired by her skin that she gets in this battle pass, which I don't like at all. But what I do like is at tier 30, the Dorothy Ash legendary skin with the Tin Bob skin. This is not an official collab. I guess it is like a collab skin, uh, but the Wizard of Oz is an open domain at this point, which is how they're able to make a Dorothy 
Ash Kid. Maybe in a future Battle Pass, maybe we can have a Wizard of Oz type of collab event. Starting off the tier 30s at 31, we got a Life Weaver emote that it kind of looks like he's doing that pose from Dress to Impress. Like, you, you know the one where he's like, they're doing that one. Tier 32, we got a Sig, a Tin Man, a spray with Ash right in the middle of the heart. At tier 33, we got a Soldier Voice line. One more story to tell around the fire. At tier 34, we got a Zarya Snake player card. We get another 250 credits. Tier 36, we get a Hanzo victory pose because he seems to only be getting recolor skins at this point. But the better Shimano brother Genji is getting a voice line. Shinra Bansho, Ichigo Ichie. So that's in Japanese, obviously, but I'm gonna guess that translates to once in a lifetime because that's what the title of the voice line is. <laughs> tier 38, another 10 Mythic Prisms. Tier 39, the Zarya player icon. And then would you guess it at tier 40, we get Zarya's snake epic skin. This is not a legendary skin, which seems to be a trend for Zarya. Now, besides her makeup, this is a bad skin. I don't like it at all. I mean, I like the theming of it, a snake. You even have a snake tattoo and snake makeup, uh, but Zarya needs good legendary skins not epic skins her gun also has that same snake pattern that you see on her uh, suit and whatnot kind of looks like it has a little eye uh, but yeah this is terrible uh, a waste of a slot in my personal opinion beginning in the 40s at tier 41 we got echoes player card with the egyptian theming here then at tier 42 we got an orissa voice line bear the weight of judgment tier 43 we got the mascot that holds the leak but this time in the form of a mummy weapon charm at tier 44 we got a Spray that is inspired by Iliari's skin. Then we get another 250 credits. Tier 46, we get a player card. Then we also get a Mora voice line. You will know my vengeance. Yeah, because you're probably going to be a DPS Mora and try to avenge all your fallen teammates that died because of you, Mora. Tier 48 on the 10 Mythic Prisms. Tier 49, 200 free Overwatch 2 coins that you can use to buy next season Battle Pass skin or what have you. Then at tier 50, we got Batista's Mummy Epic skin. And just like Zarya, this is only going to be an epic skin. Skin, but this actually looks really good for a simple mummy type of skin. I think they did Baptiste pretty well I love the glowing blue eyes. I also love his purple skin with the mummy wraps I mean if you're gonna be giving someone a mummy skin There's not really much that you can do other than just wrapping them in gauze But I like how they kind of made his legs look like uh, tombs that you would see a mummy rest now tier 51 We got a pheromon which originally I thought the leak weapon charm would have just been the tomb one But here it's him with the I think that's the finks headpiece at tier 52. We got the Ross Journey spray. Then at tier 53, we got a Symmetra voice line. There are always consequences. Yeah, whenever you pull out a Symmetra, you're gonna have consequences. A loss! Tier 54, we got Sigma's Captain name card. At tier 55, we got another 250 Overwatch credits. And then at 56, we get another player icon inspired by the Egyptian mythology theming. At tier 57, we got Sigma's spray where he's seen in his captain uniform with his binoculars guiding the ship. At tier 58, we get another 10 mythic prisms at tier 59 we get a really cool iliari victory pose where she's seen holding the power of the sun in the palm of her hand then at tier 60 we got yet another sailor type of skin for sigma beforehand we got the flying dutchman and then we got a recolor and this time he's actually seen guiding the ship as a normal human i don't know why they continue to give sigma c type of skins because he's a scientist not someone who's always seen in a bow plus this is the Egyptian mythology themed battle pass. So why are we seeing a captain in a, in a like skin? In the, I don't get it, man. It's not a bad looking skin. I mean, I do like his orbs, how it kind of looks like, like sponges, but not yellow sponges like SpongeBob, but Patrick sponges. <laughs> I don't know, but at tier 61, we get a really sick Echo highlight intro that uh, kind of reminds, actually, no, it is exactly like Iliari's trailer sneak peek that we saw way back in season, I think five? But now Echo has so I don't know. At tier 62, we get a Polar Lucio player icon. At tier 63, we get the Anubis Reaper spray. At tier 64, we get Iliari's name card. At tier 65, again, another 250 Overwatch 1 credits. And then a Magua voice line. Hey! 
it's in his native language. I don't know what it translates to exactly, but I'm gonna guess it says eyes like a demon because that's the title of the voice line. Tier 67 is a hylogryphic souvenir, which uh, this is really cool because this is Reaper's old passive ability where he used to be able to absorb orbs way back in 2016 before he got a rework. And now it's in the form of a hieroglyphic. That's a really, really cool little detail. Then in tier 68, another 10 mythic prisms. Tier 69, nice. We got a heist diva name card, which by the way, you're not gonna be able to get diva skin in this battle pass, which is I think kind of lame. But what you can get is Lucio's polar skin. I don't know why they are so obsessed with giving all the heroes polar skins. They did it back in season one. Nobody cared about those skins. They did it again in season 12 with Brigida and Reiner and now Lucio and people still don't care about those skins. I don't know, man. Like the epic skins of this battle pass just kind of suck. Well, hopefully the last final 10 tiers before we get to the Reaper mythic skin can save it for us because at tier 71, we got the Anubis weapon charm, which I really like. If you get the Reaper mythic skin, you have to equip this weapon charm. Then at tier 72, we got Doomfist's player icon, which is inspired by his Egyptian mythology skin. At tier 73, we got a Reinhardt voice line. I feel like I could build a pyramid. But at tier 74, we got Doomfist's player card. And then at tier 75, another 250 Overwatch 1 credits. At tier 76, we got a Reaper voice line, funny enough. Immortality. What a joke. Ooh, and you also hear the effect of, of, I'm assuming, his mythic skin. Tier 77, we got a Junker Queen victory pose, which looks very cute, but just kind of funny because I would not imagine Junker Queen doing that kind of pose. At tier 78, we got 10 mythic prisms, the final 10 mythic prisms. And then at tier 79, the final two, 200 Overwatch 2 coins. And then at tier 80, we get the Bast Doomfist legendary Doomfist skin, which if you're going to be rocking this skin, you have to, you have to, equip the very first highlighted show that we saw way back in the battle pass because if you're gonna be a cute adorable kitty as doofus you gotta be holding a cute adorable kitty as well i think doofus mains are gonna love this skin because i don't know it's like it's a cute skin but it's not so cutesy to where it doesn't really fit doofus's aesthetic which is a boss man you know but along with this skin you also get a doofus player icon and you also get the bast doofus spray but before we look at reaper's mythic skin that you can buy with the a 80 mythic prisms from the battle pass. We're gonna look at the prestige titles. At tier 85, we got Stoneworker. At tier 95, we got Mummy. At tier 105, we got Scribe. And then at tier 115, we got Vi Visor? Visor? Tier 130, we got Divine Mourner. At tier 150, we got Descendant of Ra. At tier 175, we got Child of Anubis. And at tier 200, we got Pharaoh. That's a pretty cool prestige title. Uh, but I don't really care for prestige styles too much. But what I do care about is the mythic skin and like the whole entire battle pass kind of alluded to. It's gonna be for Reaper. This is gonna be for Reaper, obviously. And you're gonna have three different color palettes, three different masks to choose from, and four four different levels that you can unlock. The first level is just gonna be your base level with a black, red, and gold color scheme and the Anubis mask. But when you get to level two, you're gonna unlock the red color scheme. Then at level three, you're gonna unlock the dog mask and also other bits of detail armor pieces seen throughout his whole entire skin. But what is probably the best level at level four is not only the best color scheme with white and blue, but you also have the Anubis mummy mask with the Anubis headpiece and all also, sort of like this ghost-like aura seen behind his head. That, of course, can be customized with your different color schemes that you unlock from the previous levels with red and black, and then red and greenish gold, and then, of course, the white and blue version. Usually, Mythic skins come with two different versions of their weapon, but this time, Reaper is only going to be getting one weapon skin where it features a skull at the beginning part of the gun, and then Egyptian wings make up the barrel of the shotgun, and uh, honestly, it's just like a pretty standard Egyptian shotgun looking skin. I would have loved to see maybe a little bit more play in with the mummy aesthetic. But guys, that's the season 12 battle pass. And be sure to check out my season 12 shop skin video. It's going to be popping on the screen somewhere right about now. And let me know what you think about the season 12 battle pass. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Did you like this season's mythic? Just let me know in the comments down below. But I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching more Overwatch 2 videos to come. And bye.